So guys, let's just think about this for a minute. What happens if you take a service-based economy and just shut it down? You just press the pause button. But if you're just pressing the pause button, then you'd want to pause everything, right? So if you're pausing people's income, are you going to pause their bills? Downtown, Saturday night, it's a graveyard. Remember what Lindsay Williams said? Oh, there'll be plenty of food on the shelves. You just won't have any money to buy it. Remember that? How many people are going to be homeless? Something you can't see, taste, smell, hear, know about, except for what the experts tell you. Of course, the experts tell you about their heliocentric universe of a great gigantic ball spinning through endless vast space. Balls spinning around balls and a magical mystery tour of the universe. Star Trek, Star Wars, imaginary fantasy land. People whose reality is derived from fantasies on a television set. So the same people that tell you that you're on a spinning ball hurtling through space and that you're just an accident of an accident that crawled out of the muck and became you over billions and billions of years. These same people tell you that this strange little thing that looks like a spinning ball but has green spikes. We all need to be afraid of it. I'm starting to think that what we need to be afraid of is what happens to a service-based economy when there are no more services. How much really is imported from China. How much of everything. So QAnon, the Anons, they tell us that, oh, this is the 10 dark days where they're going to go round up the bad guys. And we've got all these indictments that uh, they're going to round up all the evil folks and punish them. We'll see. We shall see. But what if that's not the plan? What if it's more like what Lindsay Williams said? Remember what Lindsay said? I'm sorry, I don't have any cash. Remember what Lindsay said? Oh, there'll be plenty of stuff, but you won't have any money. Plenty of stuff, but no money. So, this virus this little green spinning ball that is smaller than anything, 
they expand in two ways, their imaginary universe. Things that are too big to imagine and things that are too small to imagine. You hear all these things that are too big to imagine and then there's all these little tiny things that are too small to imagine or to see. There's things we can't see and things that we can't know and all these things we need to be afraid of. So, <clears throat> my intel says that Sunday night, Uncle, Uncle Intel, that's my invisible friend, Uncle Intel, says that uh, Sunday night is when they declare martial law. Martial law Sunday night. Then what's it going to look like? The only things open are grocery stores and pharmacies. So, looping back, so when you have a service economy where everybody serves everybody else and you shut it down, you pause it. I mean, it's pretty easy to imagine a pause. Just hit the pause button. Let's everybody get a bunch of food and get Netflix and we'll just pause things. Let this invisible spinning green mini enemy run its course and then we'll just unpause everything and start off where we were. The only problem with that is are they going to pause everything? Are they going to pause your rent payment? Are they going to pause your credit card payment? Are they going to pause your water bill? Are they going to pause your electric bill? What are they pausing? What are they not pausing? Are they going to pause layoffs? They don't seem to have paused any layoffs. Hmm. What kind of planning was that? Well, I guess if there's no one to serve, you can't have any servers. But wouldn't you think that if they were planning to take this pause and what, what's the Fed doing now? Um, a trillion a day? A trillion a day and phony printed money? So is it a demand shock? Is it a supply shock? Is it both at the same time? Oil's crashed to 25 bucks a barrel. The Dow's down 30%. Bonds hit 0% interest rates and then backed off. And if you look at the 30-year mortgage bond, it's rising. What's going on? Why are interest rates tightening right now? Has the Fed lost control? What about silver? You can't get any. Is it going to go back to 8 bucks? Don't know. Cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin seems to have bombed around 5,000. Litecoin, probably 30 bucks. Ripple, about 15 cents. Ethereum, the bottom's probably around a hundred bucks. Anybody gonna have any money to buy any cryptos? What are they going to do? This is a ghost town. It's Saturday night and it's a very nice night. And downtown is a complete ghost town. When are they gonna shutter the banks? What are they going to shutter next? So, Sunday night, that's my prediction. Sunday night is when they declare it. Sunday night is when they declare martial law. As I said yesterday, we're already under martial law. We just haven't declared it. A couple commenters said, whoa, whoa, whoa. how could they just, uh, you know, they have to protect their goods in the stores. All the stores do all the same thing at the same time? I don't think so. This is being, these orders are coming from the top down. The gyms are all closed. The theaters are all closed. Everything's closed. What percentage of jobs are service-based? Think about it, people. Think about it.
I'll talk to you next time.